Okay, so here's another user request video uh, on how to read multiple analog inputs using the ADS1115. This is identical to the last, last video, except that it has more potentiometers. Uh, it's connected the same. Voltage is connected to the voltage of the Pico, 3.3 volts. We will be connecting it uh, to the port 1 of I square C. That means the clock line SCL will be connected to GP15, SDA to GP14. The address will be connected to ground, which should give us uh, a value or ID of 72, according to the data sheet. And I guess if we bring up the calculator, paste it there, you see that we have a 72. Um, we have four inputs, four analog inputs, A0 through 3, and each one of those is connected to a potentiometer. And uh, so that's the picture of my setup. Here's my setup. Same as the picture. Uh, so the ADS gives us four registers to interface with, uh, but we're only going to use the first, the first two, register 0 and register 1. 0 is for rating the value converted, and that is a 16-bit value, this whole thing. And the configuration register is also 16 bits. We're only going to use the last 7, so from 9 through 15. We're going to use 9 uh, to set it to 1, so we'll have this gain, 4.096 volts. That will be a total of 8 volts, the full range, minus 4 to plus 4. And we're going to be using this ones here, this last 4, for specifying the port we want to read. And then number 15 has a dual purpose. Uh, when you set it to 1, it will trigger a conversion because we have it as a single shot uh, conversion. And then uh, we're going to use it as a status as well to see if it's done converting or if it's still busy. So when we read it, if it's 0, that means it's still busy converting the data. And if it's 1, then it's done and we can go ahead and read the data. So let's write some code. It's going to be almost identical to the last video. We'll import U time for delays. And then from machine, we'll import uh, I square C and pin. We'll start our device on port number one. SCL is going to be off of uh, pin 15, and the data or SDA will be off of pin 14. We can scan and print all the devices connected to our Pico. She only have one, and it should be 72. So here's the 72 that matches the data sheet. We'll save that in a variable. And then we'll create our fir first function for reading the config. So to read a register, you first have to write it. So we're going to write to. Uh, to the address 72 and then uh, byte array. It's going to be uh, the one represents the register. So we're writing to register one, which is the configuration. And then we can go and read it. We specify how many bytes. We said it was a 16 bit, so that's two bytes. And then we return the value of result. So let's go and print the configuration. And there's our configuration. So now we can play with it. All right, so let's write uh, a function to read the value. So what we want to do here is we first want to read the configuration, then we're going to clear three bits on starting at 9, and then the next three bits starting at 12. And then we're going to come back in and set this bit here, which is 9, to 1. So we end up with 4 volts. 
and then we're gonna send set this bit 14 plus a port whatever port we're gonna select so this will be 0 1 2 and 3 and then we're gonna set this bit to 1 so you're gonna go and read the port we specify here so let's define that function so read value from channel or port whatever you want to call it so first we'll read the configuration so that's the function we created here and then we clear uh, where is it? we're gonna clear the multiplexer right so this clear mod spits it's actually 12 not 14 and then we're gonna do the same uh, nine. This one here uh, clears the uh, programmable gain amplifier, so PGA uh, or is that PGA? Yeah, PGA. Uh, so now we can go and set config. Okay, We'll set the. We'll start with this one by saying. Actually, let's start from the bottom up. Or let's start with this one instead. So let's set the channel. So the channel will be seven. Uh, we're gonna do a bitwise operation, and it, it will be four plus the channel. Shift the twelve bits to the left, and then we'll do the. 15 to trigger the conversion and then we'll also add the 9 to specify uh, the uh, the gain at 4.096 volts right so just to keep it separate and this one is just uh, trigger x conversion Once we have that, we convert config to an array. And then we write it. Write to. And this is going to be register one plus the bytes in config. So once we set this, now we just have to monitor bit 15 until it becomes a 1. And then we can go and read the, the value on register 0. So we'll read config here. And then we'll do a loop. And then we'll check the last bit, which would be this. All right, so that's, the, that's what we're trying to check it against. Uh, or we can just say uh, that one. If it's zero, then we'll go and read the configuration again and keep reading it until we're done, until it's done converting. Once we have that, then we can go read the, uh, the data register zero. So let's write register zero. And then we go read uh, two bytes from it, and we simply return the result. So this will give us, uh, we can specify a channel to read, we will read the configuration, clear the bits we're going to set, then set the bits again for our next channel and everything that is required convert the configuration to an array, write it back to the device, read the configuration and keep reading, I mean read, read the configuration and keep reading it until we get a different value other than zero, right, until we get a one or not zero. Then we write the uh, 
the register zero to specify we're going to be reading this value whenever it's in register zero. We go and read two bytes, put an equal sign here, and then we return the value. So let's see if it works. So we'll say value for four values, right? Four channels. True, and then we'll say value equals read value from and then we'll do this four times. So three, two, one, zero. And then zero, one, two, and three. You can print those values now and do a delay of one of one tenth of a second. So let's run it. So those are the values we have. And let's go to port zero. So you can see the first one changing. Second one. And then port number two and number three. And let's do one more function just so we can see actual voltage on the value. So we'll create another function here. Read volts from channel. And uh, let's say value equals read value from channel. And we'll return uh, the value here. Uh, but let's go, we're going to convert it. So since we're using uh, 4.06 volts, we'll say uh, it's going to be that one multiply times two because again it's eight volts total minus four plus four divide it into 16 bits and then we multiply this by the value so so now if we get this and replace it here running again now we have actual voltage right so let's set them all to maximum so we should get 3.27 on all of them. So if we go low, right? You can see the values change. And let's do one more conversion. So let's change it to string. And then uh, let's just do that. Volts. So that's what we get now. So those are the voltage. So number two, All right? So there's all of them. Simple. All right. Enjoy.